Hello students, in the previous chapter we have studied about the physical classification of matter. Now today we are going to start new chapter that is, is matter around us pure? Is matter around us pure? Right? So, as you have studied in the previous chapter, the physical classification, here you will study about the chemical classification of matter. Right, student? In physical classification of matter, you have studied that matter partly categorized into three categories. They are solid, liquid, and gas. Similarly, in the chemical classification of matter, the matter is divided into two parts. The first one is called pure substance. Pure substance. And the next one is called mixtures. Right? The pure substance again divided into two parts the one is called element another is compound right so elements what are elements elements are made by made by one or single type of compound type of atoms they are made by single type of atom for example you can see for example you might have seen aluminium foil aluminium foil aluminium foil is made by only aluminium atom there is only one kind of atom suppose this is the part of aluminium foil and here in all around you will find, find only aluminum atom is there. There is no other atom present in aluminum foil. So here we can say elements are the pure substance which made by only one kind of atom. On the other hand, compounds are made by more than one kind of atom. For example, they are made by more than one kind of atom for example for example you see water carbon dioxide in water hydrogen is one kind of atom Oxygen is another kind of atom, but both they need water and they are chemically bounded. They have chemical bond between them. That means the chemical bond is present between the hydrogen and oxygen. Similarly, carbon dioxide is made by carbon and oxygen and carbon between the carbon and the oxygen, the chemical bonding is there. Right, so compounds are made by more than one type of atoms that further we study. Now moving to the next part, next division of matter that is mixture. Mixture again divided into two parts. The first one is called homogeneous, homogeneous mixture. Right? And the next part is called heterogeneous mixture. Now, what are homogeneous? Homo, homo means even. What does it mean? Even. Right? So, when the solute particle or constraints are evenly distributed, then it is called homogeneous mixture. Example with. For example, salt solution. 
salt solution right in the salt solution suppose i have in the beaker i have this water and in the water when i add little amount of salt and make the solution right after making the solution what it appear you can see you cannot able to see the salt particles once it is dissolved i will close the view see we cannot able to see the salt particles why because it is evenly distributed throughout the solvent that is water so first of all we need to understand what is solution right in your previous class you have a study about solution solution what is solution solution is the mixture of solute and solvent is called solution clear students now what are solute solutes are present in small quantity a small amount we can say in a small amount and solvents are present in large amount clear students large amount and generally you will see in salt solution right for example if we have taken the example of salt solution right salt solution in salt solution salt is the example of solute and the water is example of solvent is it clear so now i think you know very well even though it's just for the recap solution of the mixture of solute and solvent solute always present in a small quantity where the solvent is present in large quantity if we are talking about salt solution in salt solution the solute is salt is solute and the solvent is water that means the solute is dissolved in the solvent yani salt is dissolved in the water so here you can see this i made the salt solution here in that salt solution we are not able to see the salt particle dissolve inside the water why because it dissolve if we test suppose we test from the upper part upper part if we test it the test which we get from the upper part we have the similar test at the bottom part also that means the concentration of solute particle is thoroughly evenly uniformly distributed the solute particles are evenly distributed throughout the solution right so that are called homogeneous mixture in homogeneous mixture what is happening the solutes and the constituents we can say the mixture the component of mixture are evenly distributed right suppose this is a part of salt solution and suppose this is water molecule and this is salt molecule in shaped salt solution right so they are evenly distributed suppose they are evenly distributed throughout the solution in heterogeneous mixture hetero means what does it means hetero means uneven hetero means uneven right when the component of the mixture are unevenly distributed right for example here suppose we have taken the example salt plus sugar or sand le lete hain na sand plus salt suppose these are again i have made this this is the part of the mixture sand plus salt if we are representing sand by s dash or salt by s then suppose s dash s s dash s dash 
as as this as as this as as this you can see as strip lag ho jayenge more clear ho jayega they are uneven they are not evenly distributed sorry here you can see so suppose s at s trick is there or is form b se present karte hain b b b aur in sare mein kya hai s trick s s trick s s trick s s trick s s trick so here you can see the particles are not evenly distributed so there is uneven distribution of the particles of mixture so that is called heterogeneous mixture right so that's it here we cannot another example if you want to see the heterogeneous mixture here i have another example for you this i have taken the water and in this i am adding chalk powder this is chalk powder i have added here and if we dissolve you can see the chalk once the chalk powder is made the suspension this is the suspension actually they made but it is it comes under the category of heterogeneous solution you will see you will observe the salt particles are settling down slowly when i am leaving this solution undisturbed so salt particles all the salt particles are here and here some of they have made the little cloudy solution but they are not evenly distributed so in this way you can say in heterogeneous solution the components of mixture are not evenly distributed but in homogeneous solution the component of mixture are evenly distributed so that's it for today thank you very much for watching